Clipping masks, a term that you might not currently fully understand, but I guarantee that you just might in two minutes. We've got a masterpiece of a Photoshop document here with four layers. A background layer, we don't care about that. Hey! A shape layer, a photo layer, and a text layer on top. Now let's say I want the photo to appear inside the shape layer, but I still want them to be on two separate layers. Why? Well, because I said so, that's why. And it's it's none of your business. I can right click on the photo layer and choose create clipping mask. Alternatively, I can hover the cursor between these two layers, hold down alt or option, and when the cursor turns into this icon, I can click once to create a clipping mask. And when you do that, four things happen. The name of the base layer is now underlined because it's now the most important layer in the whole document. Hey! The thumbnail of the overlying layer is now indented. A clipping mask icon, this arrow here, appears next to the overlying layer. And you now know how clipping masks work, don't you? No? Now, if you change the opacity of the base layer, the shape layer in this case, the layer in the clipping mask will be affected too. Same thing if you change the blend mode. Let's set it to normal and set the base layer back to 100% opacity. You can also add more layers to the clipping mask. Let's add the text layer here. Hold down Alt and click once between the two layers. And now both the photo and the text layer will only appear through the shape outline in the base layer. To remove a layer from the clipping mask, you can activate it and then go to a layer and choose release clipping mask. Or press and hold Alt or Option and click once between the layers. Finally, make sure you watch my video about layer masks, which are a completely different thing. Go do it now.